Hi guys. Hey, Hi. Chris, good to see you. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. Good to see Hello. you again. To see you. Make it a wide shot on B, as wide as you can get it, even if it's dirty, as they say. Dirty wide. Got to get right. that suit in. Well, it blends with at least one of the corners. Yeah. Right. Uh, this movie is so awesome. <laughs> I have to go around the room one more time and say congratulations. Hey, hey thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You thank did you. it. Ah, where, where do I begin? First of all, it has the most committed title in the history of cinema. So, in unison, all three of you, oh boy. the name of this movie is One, Two, Three. Birds, Birds of Prey and, and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Holly Quinn. Quinn. What I love about it, I went down the press line Freedom. talking to some of the fans of the movie. Yeah, cheater. You had a cheat sheet over there. Uh, I was trying to get people to screw it up. Everybody knows the title. They got the whole thing right. Oh people have this implanted. On our blooper reel, we actually went around to the crew members and, and said, <laughs> say, the, say the title of the film. Oh and like God. maybe Everyone two people out of 100 got it right. Having said that, it wasn't on posters at that point, And sure, we had sure. a working title. But still, um, everyone was like, and a fantastic time of Harley or I, I don't know, <laughs> something long. <laughs> and the kids will just start calling it BOP at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, acronym works. Yeah. Uh, the movie works so well on so many different levels. You, sir, I have to start with you. I'm, your commitment to the character is such that I'm a little uncomfortable being in the room with you. Oh, right I now. like that. That's that's great. Well, it's a, <laughs> it's a great character. Fun to play that kind of psychopath. There's really no restrictions and uh, kind of, you know, I tried to uh, watch as much as Margot doing Harley and kind of trying to keep up with her. She was the, the leader here. Yeah, let's talk about that as, as a newcomer to the industry. What a great mentor to have. I know. Um, she, I, um, I, I love Margot and she's so talented and um, so inspiring when on set because we, I mean, she she's a great role model and really helped me grow. Um, throughout throughout the whole process and I, I'm super grateful to have her as a friend. It, you your character throws so much attitude and it takes someone <laughs> strong to have attitude against Harley Quinn. <clears throat> what did you draw from? What's your inner badass? Um, that is a good question. question. Um, I would say I got a lot of this from, I don't know, maybe my mom, possibly. Um, my inner badass, maybe a couple movies. I mean, Harley Quinn. It's probably definitely brought out my inner badass. Yeah. And speaking of inner badass, <laughs> the stunts, the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Amazing. My God, like, I was on the set of my movie, I got a splinter and had to get stitches. That does and, look bad, though. No, it's not so bad. <laughs> about, but I'm thinking about you. How, how are you not bruised and contused and torn? Uh, yeah, no, there was a lot of that. Uh, every movie kind of turned black and blue at some point. But uh, no, bad, no bad injuries. I've, I've had... Worse. <laughs> and much worse, yeah. What's the day on the set where you quickly put on the producer hat and wanted to run into Video Village for playback because you loved the way something went down? Oh, so many times. I mean, I, I loved watching everyone else, though. I, I feel like I, for a while it was just Christina and I with this script for a couple of years. So, I, you know, it would just be us reading the lines over and over, trying to find the right sort of um, rhythm and pace. So to see other actors step in and embody these roles and just do something with them that beyond what we could have even dreamed of it was always so exciting and i i particularly really enjoyed watching um chris and ewan's stuff black mask and zaz oh, yeah. because on the page they're, 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 they're you know it was more of a work relationship and then what they brought to it turned it into this very fascinating personal kind of like wrestle between control and dependency and i was loving it yeah. So how do you keep grounded at this time in your life? Do you ever think back to the days where you wanted to be an actress and you were hoping for some success and now you see yourself launching one of the biggest movie franchises of all time and at the same time then you have to put on a gown and go to the Oscars and see how that works out? Yeah, it's weird. Life has just gotten progressively weirder um, every year. I, I, I don't know where it's heading. Um, and look, maybe it'll just disappear one day so I'm just going to ride the wave while I can. I didn't know her before this, but she's certainly very grounded. That's what I love a lot of things about her, but that's the number one thing. She's like completely not forgotten where she came from and and who she was before all this. And that was the example that she uh, set on uh, on this on this movie. I think she's in good company. It seems like good family all the way around. The cast all together. It is. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, you guys. thanks, man.